Hello everyone. Today we're going to solve the equation in three ways. Everyone can remember in three ways. For the first way, taking square root of both sides. So we we have the absolute values of on the left hand side. So therefore we have absolute x minus one equals absolute value of ten to thirteen minus one. Yes, so on the right hand side we can write is equals 20, 10 to 12. And firstly, we have to carry for the absolute value here. Firstly, everyone can see x minus 1, yeah, smaller than 0. Therefore, we have x smaller, x smaller 1. In this case, when a smaller one, so we can rewrite the equation minus x minus 1 equals 20 12. So, therefore, we have 1 minus x equals 20 20 12. So, therefore, we have x equals 20 11 minus yes firstly we have the value of x equal minus 20 11 and then for the second x minus 1 greater than or equals 0 so therefore we have x yeah x uh, greater than or equal to equal to 1 so therefore we can rewrite the equation here right yeah x minus 1 equals 20, 20 twelfths. Therefore, we can have the value of x 20, 20, 13, right? It's the second value of x. We have two values of x. Firstly, x equals minus 20, 11. And next one, x equals 20, 20, 13. Yes, and then we can move on the the second way so second way you can use the the identity so you can use the difference difference of squares right difference of square everyone can see this equation a minus b bracket square equals a minus b bracket square so we can have a minus a square minus b square is equals a square minus no a minus b brackets a plus plus b is like that. So therefore we can have x minus one how power square equals 20 13 minus 1 whole power square so therefore we have x minus 1 whole power square minus 20 13 minus 1 whole power square equals 0 right you can use the identity difference of square therefore we have x minus 1 right minus b minus 20 13 plus 1 times x minus 1 plus 20 13 minus 1 equals 0, right? So therefore, we can have, uh, you can cancel out what, minus 1 and plus 1. So x minus 20 13 times x, yeah? Two uh minus two plus twenty thirteen so therefore we have plus twenty eleven equals zero. Yes, in this way we also have two value of x. Firstly, x minus twenty thirteen equals zero or x plus twenty eleven equals zero two. So in the for the first equation we have x equals 20 13 and for the second equation we have x equals minus 20 11 yes yeah we have two value but it's the same value for the first way
right? Oh, and next one. We can move from under the last grade, the third grade. The third grade. What can you do for the third grade? Oh, everyone look at the the yes the original equation. We can see the square of square of binomial. Yeah, a minus b square. Oh, power square equals a square minus two ab right plus b square. So therefore, we have x square. Yes, minus two x plus plus one right equals. For the first equation here, 2013 squared minus 2 times 2013 times 1 plus plus 1, right? So, everyone look at that. You can see the both hand side for the left hand side and the right hand side. You can cancel out plus 1 and m plus 1. So therefore, we can rewrite x squared minus 2x, yes, and equals 2013 oh, minus 2 times 2013, cancel out, yes. And so therefore, we can rewrite x squared minus 2013x when you take minus 2013x on in for the minus 2x we can yes plus 2011x right and then you can move you can move on the right hand side for the left hand side so we need to change the number change the size the number therefore we have minus 20 13 square, yes, minus 0 to plus 2 times 20, 13 is equals 0, yes, and you can see that x, yeah, you can x, you can x out because it's a common factor x, x minus 20, 13, right, and so nice square, plus 2011 when x and minus yes 2013 is a common is a common number so therefore we have 2013 yes out times 2013 and nice one and nice one minus minus two equals equals zero right and then so we have x times x minus 2013 plus 2011x minus 2013 and times here 2011 equals zero yes and so we can see that x times x minus 2013 and yeah plus is a common number so we have 2011 times x minus 2013 equals 0 2 so we can see wow well, is a common factor you can do x minus 2013 out x minus 2013 times x plus 20 11 equals 0 wow you can see for the first way it's the same there's the last type for the second way so we can do x equals 2013 or x equals minus 2011 yes so everyone can see for First way we have the same the same value of x. So 
Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Love you all. Bye bye.